Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have created this New Year's Eve makeup glam and I have used only affordable products. Now this look is not constrained just for New Year's Eve. You can actually wear it if you're going as a wedding guest or just any occasion or even for your own engagement. Now this makeup look is extremely simple, it's quick and it is glam as well with affordable products. So grab a snack and enjoy the video and also having said that, the pandemic is not yet over so please be safe even if you're stepping out for New Year's Eve. I hope you guys enjoy and make good choices. Now I am going to be traveling from my bedroom to my living room mostly in my PJs or maybe in my glam. I don't know, it depends on my mood but I will only be FaceTiming or video calling and doing all of that sorts. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's look and uh, before we can get into the application, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to so notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. Hey guys, so I have zoomed you guys in and do you guys see this stupid breakout right here? I'm telling you, my skin is an because for the three to four weeks that I did not film, my skin was impeccable. There was like zero breakouts, there was zero pimples, nothing. And now when I decide to actually film, this pops up right here. There's another one coming up right here. But we're gonna make it work. <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Jelly Balm. Now I wanted something with a tint. So this gives a nice rosy tint even though it runs transparent after some time it gives a nice tint so yeah so for moisturizer i'm going to be using the simple ultra light liquid moisturizer which is great for oily skin and for sensitive skin as well so this i really like it i bought the whole range but i'm still testing the product uh, but i really like this this is like a perfect daytime moisturizer like if you see it goes on liquidy like literally just liquid and it is extremely light so this is like a boon for oily skin and it also gets absorbed immediately now with my breakout i feel that this moisturizer is perfect for my sensitive skin Now for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil. Now this is in the shade 01 Dark Brown and this is priced only at 260 rupees and they offer 6 shades. It's extremely affordable and it has a brush as well as this triangle shaped or a tear shaped kind of a pencil. The next product is completely optional but sometimes I do like using this quite a lot. Now this is the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara and I'm going to use it on my eyebrows. And it doesn't do a great job in holding but I do like a nice clear brow gel. Now usually my go-to product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And uh, this is just a good affordable option. Now for eyeshadow, I was going to use the Wet n Wild palette. There are so many palettes that I own, but then I wanted to change up a little bit and try something else. And today I'm going to try is the Swiss Beauty's Cheek and Eye Palette. Now this is in the shade 02 and uh, I really really like the color story a lot. Uh, let me know on the comments down below if you want me to do more looks on this. Uh, actually, you know what? I will do it no matter what because I really like the shades that are there and even for the price point this is a great color choice uh, but I just hope the mattes work as good as it looks in the pan so we're gonna see that oh and before that I'm gonna use a concealer to set my eyelids which I completely almost forgot so today I'm using another Swiss Beauty product which is the liquid concealer from Swiss Beauty now uh, this again is kind of a new product i've used it only a couple of times and i actually like it it's quite light but i can make it work but then for 199 rupees this sort of a coverage and they offer six shades the shade range is uh, a joke but still the coverage is great for the price point like look at that 
And to set my eyelids, I'm going to use the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Powder. Now this is in the shade 20, light, medium. So first I'm going to go with this shade right here. And apply it on my crease. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go with this beautiful orange shade. Pigment. Now with this orange shade, I know it looks crazy right now. I'm just going to add that in the outer corner as well and just blend it inwards. Now I'm going to take a blending brush like this one and just lightly blend both the colors just so that it's seamless. Now I'm going to go with this light brown first and concentrate it on the outer corner of my eyes and take it a little over the crease as well. Now just to deepen up the outer corner alone, I'm just going to use this darkest brown shade right here and just concentrate it only here. Now the first brush that I used for applying the crease shade as well as the orange shade, I'm just not using any new product. I'm just going to take that same brush and blend everything together. Now the next product will take this makeup look to the next level which is the liquid eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be using the Swiss Beauty's liquid eyeshadow and I think this is the shade 02 diamond dust and this is priced on it 199 rupees and i do own the Stila one and this is such a great dupe of the Stila one uh, so i have used this before uh, not this particular shade but i have used the shade champagne and i have used even the nika k liquid eyeshadow as well i love them so much now the only issue with the Stila one is that they are expensive and they dry up really fast so even if these do dry up it's only 199 rupees you know now the Stila one i picked up like the trio mini version and i cannot find the other two but i love the shade kiran karma fii but then i love the swiss beauty one so much that i have picked up the whole bundle and i love these shades a lot so i'm not going to cut my crease or anything using a concealer i'm just going to use it as it is so you know what uh i think with this outfit and the look i think i should go with the golden one like the shade champagne uh and probably over it i will use zero two diamond dust because it's silvery and it's all golden kind of a look that i have so much better now just to blend the glitter and the eyeshadow i'm going to take this orangey shade right here And I'm going to go with the dark brown shade as well, close to the orange is where I'm going to apply it. And now with a nice fluffy brush, I'm going to blend everything very lightly together. Now for Kajal, I'm going to go with the Lakme Iconic Kajal. And I'm going to take the same orange shade right here on a blending brush and just go below my kajal just to blend both together. So for eyeliner, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Colossal Bold Eyeliner. Now, I like this eyeliner a lot because it's only 250 rupees and it is a very bold black matte finish. And I already have a backup of it as well. That's how much I like it. Now for mascara, I'm going to go with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now this is only 350 rupees, yeah, 355 rupees. And at the moment, it is available on Flipkart for like 318 rupees. So I will mention the links below. So I'll quickly add some falsies and I'll be right back. And just FYI, I am going to be using the Miss Claire Eyelash Glue, which is in a dark tone. This is only 295 rupees and it works like a charm.
So the lashes are on and now let's move on to the base makeup and the first I'm going to use is the Lacme Blur Perfect Primer. And now I'm going to move on to the Nykaa's Prep Me Up Primer. Okay, so next I'm going to use a little bit of color correcting because I have this huge ass pimple right here. So I'm going to use the LA Girls Pro Conceal. This is the green color one. And now for the foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. As usual, I'm going to take one pump. And this beauty blender is by Blue Heaven, really inexpensive and it does a great, great job. So for concealer, like I mentioned before, I'm going with the Swiss Beauty's Liquid Concealer in the shade 03. And next is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. Now this is in the shade Mellow Wine, which is a beautiful matte finish. Now for contouring, I'm going again with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Now this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to use a nice flat brush like this one to blend the contour. And now I'm going to bake a little bit. So I'm going to use the same Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Now I'm not going to let it bake, I'm just going to fluff it away and I'm going to blend my full face with the same brush with no extra product. Now I'm going to be using some setting spray, this is the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. For the highlighter, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. And last but not the least is the lipstick. I'm going to go with the Inside Cosmetics Non-Transfer Lip Color and this is in the shade 02 Red Alert. So yeah, this completes the makeup look and this is my version of a New Year's Eve glam makeup look which is all with affordable products. So guys, this wraps today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you. As well as follow me on my socials, which is It's Shanayar on Instagram and It's Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.